The Duke of Sussex stunned royal spheres when he lifted the lid on his misery behind palace walls back in March, during his tell-all interview with TV legend Oprah Winfrey. He and his wife, Meghan, made a series of allegations against the firm, with particular emphasis on the way they handled race and mental health, only deepening the rift between the Sussexes and the royal family. However, when Harry returned, on his own, to attend Prince Philip's funeral in April, royal watchers had hoped that a reconciliation was on its way. The estranged royal was seen chatting to his brother Prince William and sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, after the sombre occasion. Yet, royal biographer Robert Lacey has recently claimed the Cambridges did not actually talk in any detail to Harry out of fear that, any discussion of substance would go straight back to Meghan to be leaked out via Oprah or some other tentacle of the Sussex network. It seems the Duke of Sussex may not have had much luck with the rest of his family either. As sources told Vanity Fair he was privately shocked by the frosty welcome he received, which subsequently left his wife Meghan surprised, too. They said, the Duchess is said to be concerned about Harry's solo transatlantic trip, because he is wary about the reception he will get back at home. He was privately shocked by the frosty welcome he received from some family members when he returned to England for the April funeral of Prince Philip. Royal correspondent Katie Nichols said, Prince Harry has encountered frostiness from many members of his family. One family friend told her, Harry was out in the cold after Oprah and then when details of private family conversations were leaked to Gail King it was the final straw. Some family members cannot believe what he has done. But there is a feeling that with the Duke's death and the family coming together, conversations need to be had. Back in April, it was said Prince Edward, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and Princess Anne gave their nephew the cold shoulder. The only royal who was particularly friendly towards him was reportedly Prince Andrew, who sympathized with Harry about what it was like to be an outsider to the firm. He took early retirement from royal life back in November 2019. Since returning to the US just days after his grandfather's funeral, Harry has thrown yet more grenades at his family and even accused him of total neglect when he was struggling with his mental health. Despite these tensions, the Duke of Sussex is expected to visit Britain again so he can attend the unveiling ceremony of the Princess Diana statue in Kensington Gardens on July 1. He and William commissioned the statue back in 2017 to mark 20 years after her death, it will be revealed to the public on what would have been her 60th birthday. There has been much speculation over whether the pair will be able to put on a civil display for the occasion, as their relationship is still heavily strained in the wake of Harry and Meghan's royal exit and subsequent interviews. According to Vanity Fair's Ms. Nicol, a mutual friend of the prince's told her, there have been conversations, after Lily was born and to make plans for next week, but things are still very strained. Kate was also asked about the arrival of her niece, Lilibet, during a recent press conference in Cornwall. She said, I wish her all the very best. I can't wait to meet her. We haven't met her yet. I hope that will be soon. She also confirmed that she had not met her niece via FaceTime either, unlike the Queen, who the Sussexes reportedly called as soon as they returned from the hospital with their newborn. Royal Watchers took this as confirmation that the relationship between the Sussexes and Cambridges was still difficult. Harry and William are also set to make separate speeches to commemorate the unveiling of their mother's statue in July, but are reportedly looking to make a show of unity for the occasion so as not to move the spotlight off their mother. Meghan will not be joining Harry, as she gave birth to Lilibet only a few weeks ago.